good to be with you again. I'm your bishop. I want to talk to you a bit about vocations to the priesthood in a special way. I've been spending these days, these last weeks with you, just so impressed with how many young people uh, showed up when I had our deanery gatherings, uh, at the school masses that I was able to have, um, at the university, uh, at Carroll College. Um, I went to a discernment group that they have, 11 young men. I was so impressed. Good, healthy, wholesome young men. Um, and we had a delightful time together. I want you to know uh, that uh, the vocations that we need to the priesthood are right here. Uh, they're part of this land. Uh, and so we just need to do our part uh, to help young people to hear the gentle voice of Jesus. Because it's many times so gentle, in the noise, and the world seems to be getting noisier and noisier, it just gets harder and harder to hear His voice. But also then, uh, for all our young uh, men and women, to help them to say yes to whatever Jesus is calling them to, to the priesthood, to religious life, um, to see the beauty of it. I couldn't imagine not being a priest. I love it. I love it. And I want to do my part uh, to help uh, young men. Jesus doesn't call us uh, into a life to make us miserable. He's not trying to dupe us. He's not trying to rip us off, uh, get us tricked into it, and then abandoning us. Not in married life, not in a job we have, not in, in a vocation to the priesthood. That He's active and alive, uh, and we encounter Him, and we need Him. But he needs, he needs by his own design, he's chosen to have priests as part of his life within us uh, for the sacraments. And so we need him. We need priests. And I've been begging God every day for an increase of vocations to the priesthood, to religious life in our own diocese. Um, they're out there. And I encourage you young people, don't be afraid to say yes. Don't be afraid to say yes. And don't put so much pressure on yourself that you have to figure it all out, right? Let the church help you. That's what seminaries are for. They're to help, to discern. We don't want you to be a priest if God doesn't want you to be a priest and if you don't want to be a priest. But if there's an inkling, if you think about it, if it crosses your mind sometimes, remember this, remember this. There's a lot of people in our world that have never thought about being a priest or religious. It's never crossed their minds even once. And so part of a call is that Jesus is going to have to help us to think about it. And so if we're thinking about it, that's not a bad sign. In fact, that's a good sign that something's happening. And so let us help you. I'm here for you, right? I'm here for you. So I, we're going to get out there um, and find creative ways. I need your creativity ways in which I can meet you. I want to hang out with you. I'm coming to the college campuses across our whole diocese. I'm going to spend a whole week there. Uh, come to your dining halls and hang out where you hang out. I got to go where you're at. I don't care where that's at. doesn't matter. I'll be there. So if you're listening to me and that sounds like something intriguing, I'll answer your questions. Um, whatever you want to talk about, you find places and you let me know. Um, if Obviously, you found me on a, on the internet, so just shoot an email, and let's start something up, okay? God bless you. you. Know my prayers. Pray for me, huh? Pray for me.